captain said it's nearly 30 meters but we know they've got hot shots Montari is one of them charged down almost casual there Montari yeah that allowed the now look at this one on one flag stay down is this the equalizer now surely that's a foul and if it's a foul it should be a red card huge decision here well first it's outside but what color will the card be this is a massive decision Tony it looks like John Mensah it is a red it's red the Ghana captain sees red and he can have no argument look at that a wry smile on the face of Ramat al -Hakwane. he's arguing with Mensah he was clean through that they no choice at all the referee because Ramat Hakwana was was through he was between uh, the defender and the goal and they can count themselves lucky because one metre further forward it would have been a penalty and suddenly that really would have changed the match look Mensah's off um, Ghana will still think they could probably hold out but that's going to change the complexion of this match poor defending Tony from Ghana just one long ball over the top and Anna made the mistake and suddenly it was open indeed almost a comedy of errors for being in a very good position this well Mensah's arguing with Jerome Ramata Kawane but he can have no argument unfortunately the Ghana captain has gone from hero to zero what a curious match scoring the goal and he's had a very good game till then but it wasn't really his fault I, I have to blame Anand on that because Anand's header was uh, the worst possible place to uh, put a header in now well they'll have to backtrack here this is unacceptable no way can the free kick be taken with Badu standing just in front of the ball it's very close to the goal though almost a bit too close now Botswana they need to be clever about the free kick they've got two men hopping over 18 meters is the distance the whistle goes the free kick charge down and there's a man down I suspected it was